three words come to mind in Sue's personality that has made her such a success, and that would be commitment, integrity, and enthusiasm. And when I say enthusiasm, I mean with a capital E. After growing up in Bloomington, Sue received the first of her three degrees from Indiana University from the School of Education. I decided that early childhood is really what I was interested in. I taught first grade mainly at uh, Arlington and University High School. In 1978, Sue was recognized for her dedication to the classroom. She was given the Indiana State Teacher of the Year Award, and also that same year she was the first runner-up to the National Teacher of the Year Award. I wasn't the best teacher. I wasn't the star teacher that they should award this to. I, I think I represented what is good in teaching. That probably is the springboard that made the difference in my career. Her recognition gave her a voice she used to promote educational issues. Mainstreaming handicapped students was one of her favorite topics. And other teachers, I'm sure, would view it as maybe a threat at first, thinking that they had a child that was, I, instead of different, I like to say uh, unique. And the fact that uh, these children can adapt quite readily to the classroom and the other children can adapt to them, I think often we don't give children enough credit. But then the governor asked me to work for him, and so I left the classroom, and, and doing that and working with all of our uh, school districts around Indiana during that three years with him. But it was the time she spent traveling the state as Governor Orr's special assistant that she developed her statewide contacts. This served her well during the next phase of her career as an advocate for higher education. Since we have so many living alumni and so many in Indiana, if we set up a county program of contact, like county chairman, to contact these alumni, we could have them be advocates for our legislative agenda. And in 1991, during a Cream and Crimson weekend, she became the first director of Hoosiers for Higher Education. She recruited 115 members for that advocacy group in 1991. By the time she retired from that program, there were 10,000 members strong. Even with the success of Hoosiers for Higher Education, Sue still found other ways to serve the university. Sue Talbot is everything IU. She ran for and was successfully elected three times as a trustee for Indiana University. She served on the IU Foundation Board she was the national chair for the IU Alumni Association. I believe in giving back any way you can. And if I were an extremely wealthy person, it would be in money. But I am not, so therefore I give back in my time. Sue Talbot has been named as a Sagamore of the Wabash. Not just once, but on two separate occasions. I have one from Governor Orr, um, which is very meaningful, as you can imagine. And then when I retired from Indiana University, uh, Frank O'Bannon uh, presented me with one. The things that she's most proud of are faith, family, and friends. We've had our illnesses, and we've had our tragedies, and we've had things that are almost life-threatening and life-changing. And yet, um, I look at each member of my family who's come through that, and they are literally my heroes. Sue's family members may be her heroes, but there's no questioning the soft spot in Sue's heart for her university. Indiana University is uh, kind of emotional to me, actually. Um, it has influenced me greatly. It has been the reason that I have had any success at all. And our fondness and our loyalty is so deep that it's um, difficult to express sometimes. I can never repay IU, ever. Um, it's really a significant part of our lives.